Hey, this is Paul Chapman, uh, EBTL097 on YouTube channel. Um, probably ever, all, always heard this argument versus straight alpha and pre multiplied alpha. And there's a website that does a pretty good, eh, okay job of explaining it. It's, this job is pretty, this website pretty much focuses on After Effects, but I'm going to discuss working with an NLE such as Vegas Pro version 9. First of all, he describes it very competently. Um, the straight alpha channel separates the channels, the color channels, and they're each own channel, including the alpha channel, the actual object that's being colored. It's also in its own separate channel. They're all in their own little separate channels here. Therefore, it's straight. Each one is straight. Pre-multiply means that the object is uh, present in all the channels, including its own channel, which creates an alpha channel by itself. So we have here the straight, we have each of our own RGB channels plus our alpha channel for our object. With multiply, we have our object present in all of the uh, color channels. Basically, mean the object's been multiplied across the channels. With straight, this is for After Effects, it may not look the same, it looks different in, uh, in your NLE. With After Effects, we see that the uh, background is a little slightly hazy, and with pre multiplied, it has a little more definition. But again, this is using After Effects. Let's see what this looks like in our NLE Vegas. I have Damon here against a little background. Can't remember where I got that picture from. Anywho, uh, I'm gonna change this because I was working with this earlier and it was kind of pissing me off. Okay, first we're gonna work. Now there are two companies: Digital Juice and Video Copilot. So I'm using the frames from Frames Volume. What is it? Is that Frames Volume One? Yeah, I think yeah, that's from Frames Volume One. I'm using a frame, and from here, I'm using this from Action Essentials 2. So it's going to start with Action Essentials. Um, before I do this, let me go ahead and reset it because I was messed up my earlier recording. Okay, it's going to reset this too because I messed up my earlier recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, demute this. Now we can see that against this black background, this is how it's supposed to look nice and full and very vibrant where we can see everything. Well, let's go ahead and set this first. Let's set this to straight channel and see what we look like. Well, you can see all that smoke definition is gone. You can barely see it. So let's now choose dirty. And sometimes you may hear the guy on uh, that website use the term dirty. And you can see more of the smoke now, a lot more of the smoke. But with Vegas, I found that using pre-multiplied, you see much more of the smoke. It's, it's very subtle, but it has much more volume. You can see a lot more than you could if it was dirty. Okay, so let's go ahead and mute that and go to Digital Juice. Now here we are in Digital Juice, or we're using the Digital Juice frame. And as you can see, it's um, pretty dirty. I mean, it's, you know, we can see the definition where the glow is supposed to appear. Now let's go ahead and set it first to pre-multiply dirty and see what we get. Actually, set it pre-multiply and see what we get. Well, the alpha channel has been removed, but we can still see that weird little glow. That's pretty bad. Let's set this to dirty and see where we get. Well, it's gone, but as you can still see, it still hasn't blended in with the background. The channels are still showing through. Now we set it to straight, which is how they render their files. You can see it now has the appearance like it's supposed to glow. is now transparent and it meshes in with the environment. Okay, so to recap, when you're using digital juice, um, Alpha channel graphics, you're going to use straight unmatted. And when you're using video copilot um, alpha channel graphics, you're going to use pre multiplied. But in some cases, you might use pre multiplied dirty. But as you can see, it's, the differences between the two are pretty subtle. But uh, I found that the the regular pre multiplied tends to show more of the detail to show more of the detail okay well there you go
That's my explanation of alpha versus free multiplied. And it's and this one, as opposed to that picture on the website, is a little bit more clear because you can actually see how it works in a video editor. Okay, that's it. And um, yeah, have a nice day.